Kramer. Mm. Put the fiberglass on top of the scarf joint that I did before. It's a lot stronger than it was before. She looks pretty good. I mean, there's a little bit of a gap here, which will be filled. First off, I want to say that the baking paper works really good for making epoxy nostrils. It looks like uh, all these thin bits are like well sort of filled in. As far as I can tell, I can't see any obvious voids. So you don't want them little bits in you. It'll give you the black lung. Safety. Come pretty nice and smooth. The end of the vacuum hose fits into this hole. And I know like just because something fits in a hole doesn't necessarily mean it's a good idea to shove it in there, but I think in this case it it is. This side wasn't quite as nice as the other side. You can see there are bits here where um, it didn't quite stick. And you can see, I can kind of pull that back with my finger, like there's nothing really underneath it gluing it down. So you can see here. So I'm just going to sand back all these little edges and it'll look a bit like that. Fill up with epoxy and be uh, much better. I think having the vacuum cleaner attached directly to the sander has reduced the dust considerably. Well, it doesn't really look like anything's in there. You want to say that I feel that it worked better? I don't know. Yeah, you can see there's a kind of a little divot here where uh, this edge didn't quite cut it. It was a little bit thin. I sanded off all these little bits that I could. And um, now I'm going to make up some epoxy putty put in there. So I'll epoxy all this, fiberglass, and that'll be that for this one. Yeah, cheap paintbrushes. Here we go again. Place now. Try and spread it out. Smooth it out if I can. Pretty nice and flat. Gonna put the fiberglass on. Middle. There's about there. A paintbrush is tools if they get used up in the process. Or is that material? Because I've been writing the budget for this project. So I know exactly how much it cost me. I've been separating into tools that I had to buy and material. And I put in these paint brushes as a tool. But they're getting all used up, so maybe it's uh, more realistic to budget them as material. And here we have. The bottom piece, unified as one. Groovy. So I'm really happy with the way that this joint turned out. It didn't feel weak or anything at all. Hmm. Well, it's all dry now. It looks pretty good. This one looks good too. When I lift it up like this, 
the curve is a lot better on this joint. Before it was pretty significantly bending at the joint. Just, uh, oh shit, it was fucking filming in my pocket this whole time, you bastard. Get rid of these uh, little knobs here. The only knob on this boat is going to be me. And me. Yeah, two knobs. <laughs> two knobs for both. This boat are two knobs. So before, it was bending pretty significantly if you hold it like this at the joint. But uh, you can see now that pretty much follows the curve of the wood. So putting those sheets of fiberglass on there, it's really... Uh, Strengthened her up. <laughs> She's all good now, mate. <laughs> all right. Fiberglass going to go on this uh, the uh, scarf joint on the other side. Perfect. Uh, I always get on my knees before I mix epoxy up and pray to the baby Jesus that it doesn't set before I'm done. There you go. Yeah, boy. The bottom of the boat is one piece. It has been formed and joined, and what God has joined, let no man tear asunder. It hasn't escaped me that I'm God in this scenario. <laughs> I just realized that that sounded a little bit pretentious. But, uh, hey, I guess I am. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming.